All right, we are we are at Oshkosh 2021 at the Badland booth. It was 2019 last I checked in here, and uh, a couple things have changed. One, kind of a personally a move uh, with with the business and y yourself personally, and a couple things with the airplane. You want to kind of reintroduce yourself and who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure. So I'm uh, Chris Duell, uh, Badland Aircraft. We've been in business for about six years, and. Um, it was just a part-time venture for such a long time, and uh, it was something that I just wanted an airplane, and I, I built one. Well, then the next guy wanted one, and the next guy after that wanted one, and uh, it just kept snowballing. So um, after a lot of hard work, part-time in the garage, we, uh, we both, my wife and I, quit our jobs, and we sold our house in Las Vegas, moved to Minnesota. We're going to build airplanes full-time. So. Live, living the dream. You're uh, re retired, but not in any way, shape, or form retired at the very same time. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Just begun. That's so, so uh, talk to us again about what this is and uh, what's available as far as a kit and you know the, the, the whole rundown. Excellent. So, basically, we'll provide you a kit at any level of completion that meets your skill level, your budget, your timeline. Um, if you want to do more welding, or if you want to do welding what, at all, uh, we'll, we'll tack together an airframe for you. Um, if you want to build the wings, we'll let you build the wings. Otherwise, every kit comes with the wings fully built, fully welded. You're just drilling a bunch of rivet holes and popping a bunch of pop rivets. So nuts and bolts, and uh, you got your fabric. So uh, it's really kind of all a cart. Whatever, whatever suits your needs, whatever your mission is, um, we're gonna sit down. We're gonna set a path together, and we're gonna get you flying. Uh, awesome. So, uh, just to clarify, this is a, a single seat, fully part 103. Chris has done a really good job of, of making sure that he's stuck to that. There's a lot of fat ultralights out there, and and he's stuck to being a true part 103. Um, talked about what what you've done to be able to do that. Whether it's through uh, the fabric you use, uh, the tire size, the engine, how have you been able to maintain being a part 103 aircraft? That's it. You, you hit the nail on the head. You know the fabric, the wheel and tire, the engine. Uh, so many different things come into play. Uh, to meet that 103. Everybody wants the big tires and everybody wants the big horsepower and unfortunately to be uh, compliant uh, you gotta pick and choose around. So the biggest part, you know, engine choice is a real big part of it. Um, you had anything with Polini from 30 horsepower to 39 horsepower and uh, beyond that the options are endless. If there's an engine that a guy is absolutely in love with and that's what he wants on his plane We'll put it on there, and we'll get all the CGs figured out, and, and we'll make sure he gets exactly what he wants. Okay. So what, uh, B, this is in fact a kit, and it's a perfect kit for a first timer. Uh, what are you finding getting feedback from your customers? Obviously you know how long it takes you to build it, because you've done several now, but for a first timer, what's the feedback you're getting for uh, completion times? So uh, this plane we brought here um, is a prime example, first time builder, first time painter and he's about 325 hours in we're guessing he's got about 50 to 75 hours left so um, he got fancy with his paint it looks absolutely amazing and uh, that's uh, the paints a big time consumer if you were to go with uh, Oratex fabric you're gonna lose a little weight and you're gonna save quite a bit of time uh, you'll spend a little bit more money but it's it's depends on again what your mission is you know what your final outcome Okay. And the biggest selling point I would see about this is not only is, of course, the, the construction time and the affordability of it, um, is that you actually have a folding wing, and not just a folding wing, but a quick folding wing. Can you talk about how that's possible and in reality, what uh, the, the folding time is like, and like if you were to you know trail it somewhere and set it up? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, in most circumstances, it'll take you longer to undo all the ratchet straps on the trailer uh, take you less time to do that than it will to unfold the wings ready to fly you have the front spar pins and you have your flapper on control pins four pins four safety nuts that's it you're ready to fly good to go yeah good to go awesome okay well uh, some of the other changes here I, I talked to you in 2019 you were just getting started with with uh, taking over this venture and and this airframe and you you had I think a couple sales and now you, you just told me you, you've got quite a 
quite a few sales going on. So what at what rate are you now producing this aircraft? We're getting, uh, our goal is one kit or one ready to fly plane per month. So um, if we can keep guys happy and not waiting so long, that's, that's the goal. Um, it's pretty hard, there's a lot of popularity, and uh, everybody's really understanding, and uh, they know where we're at, they know what we're up to, and they know we're working hard. That's, that's the big factor. Awesome, okay, so is this primarily done, and I'm sure you prefer this way, is it an entire kit, or do you break it out in any subsections like the fuselage and the wings, or what's, what's, what's out there for options? Options wide open. Whatever meets the guy's needs, really. I, I tell them it's harder to do sub kits because you spend so much money on shipping. Sure. If, if It's almost just as expensive to send a set of wings out as it is a whole kit. Um, so uh, with our payment plan or, or our deposit system, we do 30% down, 20% when the airframe is ready for powder coat, and then the remaining balance when it's completed. 50% when it's done before so ship. yeah before shipping so that helps a lot with guys you know it kind of spreads it out makes it not such big large sums um, and with our wait time right now being about seven to nine months or so um, it really helps with guys and we just uh, finished some airframes got them off to powder coat and a guy wasn't quite ready so we just swapped now let me introduce you to our sponsors that make all this possible Awesome companies like Dynon Avionics, AirTech Coatings, AV Nation, and Airworks. Check the description below this video for links to these great companies. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. If you like these videos that we are producing weekly, give that like button a click and engage all notifications so you don't miss a single episode. So we just swapped the next guy up and swapped him back. Everybody was happy and uh, it really works out well. So, Awesome, awesome. All right, well, uh, what is, uh, now it's, it's 2021, just to get an update on pricing, uh, and, and this is uh, Oshkosh 2021, so that, that time frame. What is the current price structure for this? So a base kit from the firewall back is around 15,000. Um, you got a couple options to pick from there. Uh, most guys go with brakes, most guys will add a spring gear and an engine cowl, and you're looking about another thousand for those three options. Firewall forward ranges from 3,500 to about 6,000 for a new Polini. Um, you can get creative with engines. Yeah, there's there's a lot of engine people out here, and uh, it's wide open. Uh, cool, cool. Well, uh, give give everybody an idea of what this is like to fly, other than it's awesome to fly. It is. But what what are the what are your like rotation speeds, climb speeds? You know, I know this is an ultralight, so you can't go super fast with it. But uh, you yeah, know, just what is it like to fly? Um, in, in parameters of it. Yeah, uh, it is a blast to fly, <laughs> and that's everybody that has flown it just absolutely loves it. And, and they tell me all the time, if a guy were just to have the opportunity to fly it, they would fall in love. It's not your typical ultralight. It's it's an airplane. Yeah, it's it's a real airplane. Um, I like to climb out at 45, 50 miles an hour. Um, stall speed with no flaps is 40, so it leaves you plenty of room. Uh, my approach speed, again, is easy, 50, 55. It's just easy. It's just easy to remember. You, you just put a couple numbers on your instrument panel, and that, that, that's it. You that's got like it. three or four. Yeah, when I, when I first started flying, or start, first started learning this design, it was 60 miles an hour. I would rotate at 60, climb out at 60, downwind at 60, approach at 60, and flare at 60. And it's just so easy to learn that way. You know, you're not, it's, that's your number all the way around, just make it happen. And uh, it, it really simplified things. Then I started getting my speeds down lower, my distance is shorter, and uh, it just gets more fun and more fun. You add flaps to it, and now you're even having more fun, so. Awesome. All right. Well, just want to give everybody a quick update again for 2021. Check in because we, we missed them last year. 
we missed everything last year because uh, Osh wasn't around. And Chris has been busy not only building airframes but moving his entire operation to an entire different state, and that's that's been good all the way around. I think for family and for business. Yeah, yeah, that that was that was a big big deal. Um, you know. Uh, I'm not sure if we talked about it already, but we both quit our jobs, and uh, you know we, we're we're making it happen. So we we got a little place, we got an on-site runway, and uh, we're here to help people. And Make, how can people get in touch with you to uh, order some? Easiest way. My phone's in my pocket all the time. Chris at BadlandAircraft.com. You can call us, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, single sentence, ten paragraphs, whatever it is. Just, uh, we're here for you. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode. Again, give uh, Chris a call, email, text, uh, I don't know, Morse code, anything. Yeah, pigeon. And find out <laughs> more information about this uh, aircraft. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Remember to rivet down that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit all the bell notifications so you don't miss a single episode. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.